I do apologize. As I've explained before, it's a constant battle for Mr. Arataki with his mental instabilities. I know it's caused no end of problems for you, and I can assure you that he regularly feels very remorseful about that too. Exactly. Yes, and that's why he has such a big heart for other people struggling with similar issues. Um, the Arataki support group was actually founded precisely to try and bring something positive out of that. Yes, all of them are good, honest people underneath. It's just a shame that they still haven't found a cure after all this time. Oh, but no, 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 not me. I'm not a sufferer. Hmm? Huh? Ah, just the person I need. Mr. Uesugi, my friend here can confirm everything I've told you about Mr. Arataki. To put it simply, he experiences strong emotion more acutely than most and easily becomes highly excitable. And deep down inside, all the members of the Arataki support group are some of the most down-to-earth, kind-hearted people you could ever meet. Huh. Even the Traveler is here to vouch for the Arataki gang. So you're saying we've had them wrong all this time? a good point. You know, I heard Yoriki Owada saying how the Arataki gang's deputy has studied abroad and is well versed in the law. I was wondering why someone with that much talent would choose to stay with the Arataki gang. Here's the thing though, we have solid evidence that those three were illegally posting flyers everywhere, and we've received a lot of complaints from members of the local community. I appreciate what you're saying and everything. I'm just not sure I can let them off so easily. Oh, please accept my sincere apologies once again for all of that. Mamoru and the others probably believed that they would be able to reach more people in need this way. Unfortunately, they were so eager to help that they ended up causing more problems than they solved. The Arataki support group assumes full responsibility. We will work quickly to restore the clean and tidy living environment that the community quite rightly expects. But with only myself available, I'm afraid that it could take a very long time to remove all the flyers. Having their help would have made things much quicker. I'm just a little concerned that if progress is too slow, the complaints will only keep coming, which ultimately only makes more work for you and your colleagues. Uh, I... Uh, all right, fine. I'll go fetch them. But don't think I'm going to make a habit of this. Finally! We're saved! Hey! Hey! I knew Shinobu wouldn't abandon us! What up? The Arataki gang is back in town! <clears throat> Sorry, they're getting a little overexcited at the prospect of being able to serve the community. All right, guys. Make sure you get every last one of those flyers back, okay? And don't forget to apologize to the residents and ask for forgiveness. I assure you, there won't be any problems. Will there, guys? Uh, yes? No problems. We'll, we'll be sure to get the job done. <sighs> I really hope letting them go was the right decision. They better not cause any more trouble. All right then, Shinobu, we, uh... We'll go apologize then? Yeah, we better be quick, or... Not so fast. Last month, you almost got the fire brigade out when you were roasting lavender melons. Five days ago, you angered the whole neighborhood by hosting the great sing-along in the middle of the night. And today, you go plastering flyers all over town. How many times will you have to be arrested before this stops? But 
We put up those flyers to tell everyone how great the Arataki gang is. No more excuses. You know, I had real plans at Uyu Restaurant today. But it looks like you guys need a little slap on the wrist first. Ah! Help! P -p please you don't want to do this. You could have just left us in jail instead. Don't feel sorry for them. They need to learn their lesson. Really? Huh? Rules? You're saying we should lay down some rules for the guys? It's true. Having a clear set of regulations and penalties could help establish behavioral norms for our members. Is that really why I can never get them to change? Because the Arataki gang doesn't have any written rules and regulations? Hey, are you getting this? What do they mean? I'm not sure, but it sounds like it doesn't involve us getting beaten up. Hmm, let me think about it. The Arataki Gang Handbook. St study They're not gonna make us memorize a whole book, are they? No way! I take the beating over that! Hey guys, Shinobu seems distracted. Maybe we should slip away while we can. Yes, if we can make them learn the rules by heart, it's sure to have some amount of influence on their behavior. But knowing what they're like, to really get it into their heads, I'll have to assign plenty of homework assignments and give them pop quizzes each day. Huh? Where'd they go? Well, given that this way is Tenshukaku and the police station, you can bet they'll have fled in the opposite direction. Who knows what chaos they'll cause next if we leave them to their own devices? I'm gonna need your help. Let's catch these kids before they do something stupid. the owner of Isa Bathhouse. What's he looking at? What was that? I was just doing some cleaning when I suddenly heard a loud noise outside. I got to the door just in time to see a shadowy figure disappear up that tree. This is a busy street. Surely it wouldn't be a burglar, would it? Get up! What are you crouching there for? Ah, Shinobu! What are you doing up here? Hey, what do you think you're doing climbing up on someone else's roof? Oh, sorry. Coming down. <sighs> if you're gonna horse around, fine. But you have to know when to rein it in, okay? It's darn lucky you didn't break any roof tiles. Otherwise I'd have to close the place down while I get it fixed. S sorry We're very sorry. I will be much stricter with him in the future. If, on closer inspection, you do find any damage, please come to Hanamizaka and ask for me. The Arataki gang will bear the cost of repairs. <sighs> it's okay. All's well that ends well. It's just, if you carry on like this, causing mischief day after day, night after night, sooner or later accidents are gonna happen. I can see that you're a reasonable person. For your own sake, find a way to keep your subordinates in line. I will. Thank you for understanding. For the sake of both the Arataki gang and the community, I will get them to start behaving themselves as a matter of urgency. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll do better, we promise. Listen carefully. From now on, you must strictly abide by the gang bylaws of the Arataki gang. Gang Bylaws Article 1. Do not damage other people's property. 
In case of violation, the member shall compensate the victim for their full losses, including the cost of repairs, lost business hours, and, depending on the situation, compensation for emotional distress. If the offending member cannot immediately afford to pay the compensation, the Arataki gang will extend to the member a loan for the full sum, on the condition that they take on paid employment and repay the loan within an agreed time period, including interest, of course. As a further security, all of the offending member's gang assets, including Oni Kabuto and Genius Invocation TCG cards, will be frozen until the loan is repaid in full. No, no, I'm sorry, I get it now, I promise. Good. Then no more violations in the future. Now, where are Genta and Akira? Uh, boss said that a fellow gang member is a brother from another mother, and we should never betray the brotherly bond. If they violated the gang bylaws and you're withholding knowledge of their whereabouts, you'll be punished as an accomplice along with them. Hanabizaka! They went to Hanabizaka! I saw it with my own eyes. <sighs> Let's go. I hope they haven't caused any trouble. Shinobu, you can see I've learned my lesson for real this time. So, maybe... Shut up and get a move on. If you try and run away again, you'll only have yourself to blame for the consequences. Why are you still hiding here? Come on out! Oh! Uh... I... Shinobu! Whoa! The guy who stole our spot! He came out! <sighs> Sorry, we're coming up. I, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have stolen your spot. Well, at least not without a fair fight first. Um, l let me make it up to you. As punishment, I'll play a game of Genius Invocation with you. Huh? Cool, count me in. In the Arataki gang, the victor shares the spoils. No, wait. Brothers share our burdens. So, uh, punish us together. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. It's so noisy over here. The grown-ups will definitely find us. If they find out that we came out to play cards before finishing our homework, we'll never be allowed to play again. Besides, if we never do our homework and play Genius Invocation all the time, we'll probably turn into big losers when we grow up. Huh? Seriously? You mean like this guy? Oh, brother. Quick, let's get back and do our homework! Hey, you little rascals! Stop. Leave them alone. They're just kids. Gang Bylaws Article 2. No bullying of small children. Bylaws? What are they? Never mind that. Just listen. Violators must give a sincere and unreserved apology to the victim and make amends. Until such a time as the victim forgives the violator, they will be banned from participating in all gang activities, including Lavender Melon Roasting Sessions, The Great Sing-Along, Oni Kabuto Battles, and Genius Invocation TCG. No! Don't pretend to be the victim here. Tell me, where is Akira? Uh, boss said that homies are family, and family don't rat each other out. Especially not to Shinobu. Go on. He was heading out of the city. I saw him with my own eyes. When Shinobu gives me the look, I react automatically. I can't control it. <clears throat> As members of the Arataki gang, we brothers share our burdens. If that means getting taught a lesson, then we take it as a team. Out of the city? <sighs> a doshin from the police station told me that things have been getting pretty rough out there recently. Let's go. Hopefully we can catch up with him. Hey, uh, 
How did Shinobu find me so quickly? Mamoru, did you? Oh, jeez, I'm just so worried about Akira, you know? He could be in real trouble. Quick, we gotta catch up with him. I swear, I've never known a cure to run so fast before. I can't keep going. I think I'm actually gonna die. Ugh. I heard from the police station about a group of Kairagi on the prowl outside the city. Well, anyway, the best we can do is find him as soon as possible. There's a lot of terrain to cover here. I think we might have to split up. I'll get Mamoru and Genta somewhere safe and tell them to stay put. Then, I'll go south, you go north. Thanks. <laughs> I wonder if I can hide in this box. Huh? Ah! Sonobu! Please, have mercy! Huh? Oh, you scared the heck out of me. I was so sure she'd be with you. Boy, this is lucky. <laughs> I closed my eyes and just ran and ran. Then I tripped and fell, and this is where I ended up. And what do you know? It's the perfect hiding place. It even comes with these huge boxes. If I can squeeze myself inside one of them, Shinobu will never find me. Ah, uh, don't sell me out. Boss said our gang is our clan and... Oh, nice. So you know how we roll. <laughs> anyway, please help me empty out one of these boxes. Kairagi? Wait a second! This sounds like Shinobu trying to scare me out of hiding! Hmm. Even if it's not, I still feel like I'd rather face a bunch of Kairagi than an angry Shinobu. I ran so far this time, Shinobu's gonna be furious with me! Yeah, I think I'd better stay in hiding for a while. Y you will? How do I know you mean that? I guess with you there, maybe Shinobu really will let me off this time. Okay, I'll come with you. I'm putting my life in your hands here. Shinobu? I finished searching the south and noticed you hadn't returned, so I came to see what was up on your end. Looks like I was just in time. Help me! You promised! Relax, I'm not going to do anything. Shinobu, spare me! I, I... Huh? Did I hear you right? We go through this song and dance every day. Even an omnipresent god would have a tough time keeping track of you all. Besides, even when I teach you a lesson, it's not long before you're up to your usual antics again. <laughs> In the Arataki gang, we call that being too legit to quit. From now on, we will be using the gang bylaws of the Arataki gang as the new disciplinary tool. I've got the basics thought out already. Once it's finished, it'll be time for class. Mamoru and Genta are waiting for you at Hanamizaka. You can make a study group and test each other on the rules. Wait, what? Are you serious? Help! Uh, I'm a member of the Arataki gang! I ain't about to waste my life studying and doing homework! I'm out of here! Huh? Gang Bylaws Article 3! Insubordination shall be punished by making the member recite all the bylaws from memory!
John Doe was playing cards with a child. When he lost the game, he got angry and proceeded to steal his opponent's cards. Which article of the gang bylaws did John Doe violate? You kidding me? He was mad about losing, so he robbed a kid? Which gang is this John Doe punk from? We gotta go teach him a lesson. Yeah, everyone knows don't hate the player, hate the game. Who does this clown think he is? Just answer the question. Also, John Doe is just a hypothetical character. Ah, welcome to the class. Pretty difficult to say so far. But at least the punishments I use in class will get them spending their energy on something meaningful. If it keeps them out of trouble, I'll consider it a win. You'll see very shortly. Hey, have you got an answer for me yet? Um, the one about not bullying children. That's the second one, right? But then it also kind of fits damaging property, which is the first? How about I answer Article 1, and you answer Article 2? One of us has got to be right, so at least we won't get punished as hard. Alright, Shinobu, we've decided... Wrong! John Doe violates both Articles 1 and 2 of the Gang Bylaws, and the additional notes to Article 2, Clause 36 also apply in this case. As for your punishment, each of you must write out all the relevant rules in full three times. No. no. 